Не хочу я вірити, що можна не вірний ти. У цілому все світі тепер на самоті. Летіли на вогники, наївні метелики, щоб у святому зникнути вогні. Привіт, чуб, це тяжко, мамо, юб, чуб, чану. Ді, я розповідаю своїх вифік вечі і донки про тононавітих музикантів. З його світу, як в домах, так і мама думах артистів. Я описаю вам, що нові не публіка, що ви не будете дращити нові не зовсім. Приїдьте з мого каналу, де ви приспитись, де ви криваєте разом з мною, де новіжних артистів. Now, my next reaction of today is Tina Carroll. I'm not going to punch no bags. It's straight Tina Carroll. We all know how we feel about Tina Carroll. We all know about Tina Carroll. We know about her energy. We know about her patriotism. patriotism. There we go. Got it out of my mouth. We know about her love. We know about her firmness. We know about her pain. Um, and she's just one of the most hardest working women that I know. The De- hardest working, dedicated woman that, that I know. And some, uh, for me, where she, you know, we all, I don't need to, you know, go into deep in, into about Tina Carroll, but the things that her life experience, what, the things that she's endured, whenever there is some kind of disarray that comes, that goes into Ukraine, she's always at the forefront to, to, um, to bring your strength, despite what she's been through. It's absolutely amazing, really is. This song is called No Saints. Is that um, Nesviati? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, what does it say in the description page? Right, so, okay, so it's got titles. See, it's, it's got this, subs, um, um, the, the, this, you know, the, uh, can't get it out of my mouth now, and the subtitles, there you go. But it's not coming up, it just says music. But in the description page, she has put down the, some of the lyrical contents, or I'm sorry, all of the lyrical contents. So I'm going to highlight the first verse and read it out to you. And then I'm going to press play. And then after um, my reaction, when it comes to the analysis, I'll read out the other half. So it says, um, first one, I don't want to believe you can be unfaithful in the whole universe. Now alone, they flew to the lights, native butterflies, to make the lights disappear in the holy. And the chorus is, you are like poison, fatal temptation in life. I want to feel what saints we are, not killing me gently. The ground goes from under my feet. I want to feel your embrace is sweet sin. Tina, what are you going on with? <laughs> okay. Obviously, you're talking to... It's, it's almost like a... Do you know what this reminds me of? Um, it's almost that kind of... Um, that, that banter thing that you had with um, you and Dan Ballon. Is, that, is it on? Is it not on? The temptation is it is? Is it not? Is it is? I don't even know if Dan Ballard's got um, a, a wife and all that stuff. When I first read to him, I just thought he was a, a womanizer of some sort. Um, but that, that's what that app, that feels, that relationship what you had, um, you know, about, say, two years before the unfortunate event started. Incidentally, I don't even know where he is now. I haven't ever heard anything that's coming from him, Graham. What's going on with Dan Ballard? Anyway, look, let's go straight into my next reaction of today, shall we? So, without further ado, you know! What we're here for? Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Не хочу я вірити, що можна не вірити. She doesn't age. Ти мама все світи тепер на самоті. Never ages. Летіли на вогники, наївні метелики. Any 18 year old. Щоб у святому зникнути вогні. So, let's, let's just stop for a moment, yeah? <laughs> I know. I just made a massive statement, right? I, I don't know how, if you know how old Tina Carroll is, and I'm not going to say her age right now, um, or any stage, but I do know her age. But I just want to state something right back now. The woman never ages. This woman right now, right now, can pull any, and when I say pull, like can um, advance to 
uh, as in in, in, um, in a relationship or whatever have you. She can pull anybody, any age, from the age of 18 upwards, even 16 year old. <laughs> He's not supposed to. But it's only a handful of women that have that credibility that can say that. At her age, she can pull, she can go out with no no man, right, from the spectrum of 18 all the way up to whatever, will say no to this woman. You'd be lucky to have her on your shoulders, on your arms. She is beautiful. <laughs> I know, look, the camera and all that stuff, but off screen, and she's, she's absolutely amazingly beautiful. She really is. And the thing what I like about Tina Carroll as well is that she, even though she does the music videos and all that stuff, off set and off camera, she hardly wears makeup. She's not that kind. She wears makeup when makeup is necessary to wear. You know? She's really, really genuine. There you go. I said it. And this ain't got nothing to do with the music. This is just her standard. Yeah, without even her singing all that, just her appearance I'm talking about. Come on, man. Tina Carroll, man. Seriously. <laughs> I'm going to go back just a little bit. There's, like I said, there's only a handful of women that you can say that about. Really. I'm going to go back to about, say, here. You know he's younger than her, isn't he? That's what I was talking about. I love the track now. There's some effects in the background. Some women that be absolutely crying that she got that dress wet. <laughs> That's a amazing dress. So that was Tina Carroll with No Saints or Not Saint Nesveti. Before I start, I'd just like to say a big massive thank you to Diane Warren. Because when I reacted to the collaboration between Tina Carroll and Diane Warren, I sent them, obviously, whoever I react to, I send a copy of my reaction to them. So I done the copy of, I sent my copy of reaction to Diane Warren and to Tina Carroll. And Diane Warren came back and sent me a message and said, thank you very much and everything else. And she's joined my Instagram. I was like, what? Diane Warren? If you, amazing absolutely amazing that blew my not my mind yes i've got messages from uh, um tina carroll and that blew my mind as well i mean everybody blows my mind whenever they um when i get a message um from 
various artists it's just like no way i just get that no way feeling <laughs> puts a massive smile on my face so look i did promise you that i'm going to read the uh second half of um of the song so i'm gonna highlight that now uh, and do that there i do like the song and i'll talk about it but i just want to go through the verse and the chorus first so again without permission pluck my strings our love like dark water in the deep they flew to the light native butterflies to make the lights disappear in the holy and once again the chorus is you are like poison fatal temptations in life i want to feel what saints we are not kill me gently the earth goes from under my feet i want to feel your embrace in the sweet sin so you got the man standing over this side and you got Tina Carroll in the rain. I mean, not in the rain, with water being poured over her on the leather sofa in that amazing outfit. And you got this guy like, and trying to light a fag um, in the rain and, you know, with his, uh, his, his Russian beard and looking um, amazingly um, physique and meticulous. Where was the connection was distance? So I was trying to understand her position and his position it was very very distant like there was having an argument or i thought it was going to be on the from reading that more of a forbidden fruit a, a fruit that i want to have or yearn for but i know that i must not have but what i saw in the individuals from my point of view i just saw a powerful woman that's not going to yield to a man because normally in that position you normally get the woman going to the man and bracing the man and a man standing there and all that kind of stuff but what i saw was a standoff where a powerful strong woman that doesn't need a man but still standing there in her position and because that's her position and if you want to come to me then you come to me for me to have the option to tell you yes or no but the man was also stubborn in himself and he stood there on his, in his own feet as well. Well, I'm the man, why should I come to you? So there was this lock horn between who's going to come to who. That's what I'm feeling. I felt too, more than, more than, the, more than Tina Carroll than the man, but I feel, believe that her stance and the, the way how she was sat down in the, uh, on the sofa, her position, the way how she was singing, it just showed that she's got the backbone. She's got the strong, she's got the powerful one. She's the one that's in control. So... When he was standing there and she wasn't even really looking at him, she was just paying attention straight away to the camera rather than looking at this way or his position. Um, it was more like, well, I've got control of this. I know what it is. I'm comfortable with what it is because it's down to my decision if I'm going to take that, make that move or not. So listen to this is like, yes, the, the temptation. She didn't yield to that temptation. That's what I'm getting for. I'm going to highlight the last bit. Yep, yeah, but yeah, kill me gently, sweet poison. You are fatal poison, temptation, um, temptation, life. I want to feel what saints we are not. Kill me gently, the earth goes from under my feet. I want to feel your embrace is sweet sin. So she wants to do that, but her body language is suggesting that even though she does want to do that, she's in control if she decides if she wants to do that or not. Does that make sense? Amazing um, song. I love the. <sighs> There was this effects in the background that just I think it was a, a hook that carried on, but it was gently in the background. And then you had the guitar, typical acoustic element that was really lovely. And then you had that soft, gentle ballad pace, which, you know, Tina Carroll, with that kind of pace, she can do a, a number of things within that and, and, and provide a number of textures with that. And she did not disappoint us in that whole flavor. So overall, a lovely song. It should do really, really, really well. And I love the fact that she's trying to give um, a different angle and perspective what's going on, um, as in musically, um, um, than your um, typical music was happening right now from coming from a majority of artists in Ukraine at the moment. And there's no getting away from it because it is, but sometimes, I, I, you know what, like I said, Tina Cow's the leader in dysfunction. You know, so you can't question her. When everybody's doing this and she's doing that, there is a reason. And she's always two, four, five, six, six seven steps ahead of everybody else when it comes in the artist zone. Um, closely side by side with a loner and loner. So, nice song. I get it. Um, and it's nice to see songs like this um, uh, coming out from Ukraine, despite what's happening in Ukraine. Until next time. I salute you. Boom. Judy, well.